to reveal a plan for a trip around the moon is the chief of the guided missile development at the United States Army's Redstone Arsenal, Dr. Werner von Braun. A voyage around the moon must be made in two phases. A rocket ship taking off from the Earth's surface will use almost all the fuel it can carry just to attain a speed great enough to balance the pull of gravity. Unpowered, it will then keep circling the Earth in an orbit outside of the atmosphere. This is the first phase. However, if we can refuel the ship in this orbit with fuel brought up by cargo rocket ships, it can set out on the second phase, the trip around the moon and back. To facilitate this refueling operation, we will establish an advanced base in the orbit, a thousand miles above the Earth. This advanced base, or space station, will be headquarters for the final ascent to the moon. Our space satellite will have the shape of a wheel, measuring 200 feet across. Its outside rim will contain living and working quarters for a crew of 50 men. Just below the radio and radar antenna is the atomic reactor. Its seat will be used to drive a turbo generator, which supplies the station with electricity. Access to the station will be through an airlock in the hub. The three large spokes are elevator shafts, and the small pipes are used as condensers for the turbo generator and the air conditioning plant. The entire wheel will slowly rotate at three revolutions per minute. The resulting centrifugal force will produce an artificial gravity for the men in the rim. Okay, the roll cal angle is minus two. Motor module rolling, three, five, five, point, five, seven, pitch, one, six, seven, eight, correction, pitch, one, six, seven, point,